Uh, hello there my YouTube friends, welcome back for another video and as you can see we have a new predator in the house and this one being Falkner one now anyone that knows my channel knows I've got a real good fondness for these predator ones you know, I absolutely love collecting them I have quite a number in the collection now I think we're talking about about eight this one will be about, I think, I think this is my ninth one now that I've got. So, uh, yeah, I'm always happy to get a new Predator one. Front of the box, again, it's the standard sort of Predator style boxes. Really sort of nice, see the figure inside behind the red thing with Faulkner Predator written on the front inside of it just has the Faulkner Predator 1-6 collectible figures back again you can sort of see the Faulkner Predator inside of the actual head itself yeah the prey written on you know that's pretty damn good so Predator raw Again, button written on the side there, and then on the top, predators slipping the case off the top. You can see better the actual inner part of the case. Oh, that didn't go across the front of the screen, probably did. Yep. It was just a microphone lead going across the front there when I was busy. So you can see there how good that looks on the front there. Uh, and this actually does open up again. Show the inside. Which, because you've got the light shining on it, you can't see it as well as what I can. So what we're going to do is we'll get out the any accessories that it's got, lay them out in the lay them out in the light box, and let you have a look at what this Falcon apparatus comes with. So here you go guys, here's the accessories you get. As you can see, there isn't many at all, but then again, with the predators, you don't normally get that much and you don't really need that much with them. You know? You'll have to excuse if you can hear me dog in the background chewing on his bone, it's the only way I can get him to be really quiet because he's keep on barking the at us or wanting to play all the time because he's still a pup. So if you can hear chewing in the background on his bone, I do apologize, but that's the way it goes. I'm trying to get him to calm, keep calm. Again, as per usual, you get a very bog standard sale base. Predator has written on, Falcon Predator written on the front. You know, you know me, I tend not to try and use these if I can help it. But it's always nice to have them in case you need them. You know, so the crotch grabber. And then what you have is just two hands, two spare hands. A good amount of detail on them. I mean, that, that just absolutely looks fantastic you know the level of details in these sculpts and these hands and that is really good the nails are plastic but still actually quite sharp so i mean just just look at the detail in that one that is just fabulous you know it really is and then you've also got a gloved hand again looks Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and again, it's plastic, but it's still sort of quite sharp to it. Yeah, so, yeah, it is what it is, but it looks good. I like it. You have got two, two spare wrist pegs as you can see these are quite large wrist pegs but again, again these characters are very large characters yeah so that's pretty good you get the two spare pairs in case you need them this thing strange it may look it actually plugs in on the shoulder of the falcon operator and that is used to sit this on the actual sort of falcon of the falconer yeah, and at first I thought 
had one of these missing because you would have thought it would have needed another one there but according to the thing you know by the looks of it i think that is correct and again sort of nothing hugely spectacular but still Yes, it looks good. And then a lot of detail, a lot of trouble. It's plastic, which is what you want, because if it was metal, really, you would have trouble staying on your shoulder, you know, or actually end up outweighing the thing and making it topple over. So that's pretty good that it's plastic. We have three different size, I don't know what you would call them, swords, I suppose. Claws, talons, or whatever you want to call it, and these are die cast. Yeah. So, all die cast metal, all three of them are. So, it depends on what size you want in there, how menacing you want them looking, to which one of those you would use. You have another of these things, it's basically the bone head of one of the things it's killed. And you get these with pretty much all your predators, which I think are pretty damn good, you know. I've got like a nice little set of them in the in there with my predators now. And I just think that looks pretty damn cool. And it looks like it was a formidable character that it's took on. It has the look of actually like it was another predator at some point that he's beat. But I think that's cool. And of course this little thing here. Is actually, if you didn't want to put the falconer, the falcon sitting on his shoulder, then that will go into a place on his shoulder, which I'll show you when we get him out himself, to cover it up, to cover the hole up, so you get actual cover for it, which is pretty damn good. So there you go, guys. That's what you're getting with them. Now let's get this falconer printer out and show you just what he looks like. So this is how we arrived for me, like this. Yeah. He's a pretty impressive looking figure, I must admit he is a pretty impressive looking figure. And the only fault that I can honestly see with any of these Predator figures is the leather. The leather comes away from them and deteriorates so quickly, it's unbelievable. Now luckily the leather on his, the back end of his sort of thing, because this front end is plastic, but the leather you can see it there. Well, that side and there's a bit round the back that seems to be okay so that's that's one good thing the only issue that i've got with it is all the leather on actual legs and on the chest pieces and stuff that have all started to come away um we'll see if we can get you a close-up to show you what i mean i don't know how well you can see it but you can actually see oh let's try not look this piece here hanging down it's obviously supposed to be up here, attached up here, so that's already come away. The other ones are starting to be a bit loose. This one you can see is pretty much come away as well. So that one's broken off. The one at the top here, you can't see it properly from that angle, but that one's broken off as well. I've actually had to use some blue tack to blue tack his shoulder piece on because of it being basically dinged on the back as well. It's come off at the back as well. Um, and we'll show you that well down the bottom end here his leg piece this one here if I can grab it it's come away as you can see there's a top leather piece that would have attached to this one it's come away so again I've had to use a bit of blue tack to blue tack his knee piece into place to keep that in place Otherwise, that's just going to come away, which is the, the one thing that I, I really can say is a bit of a stuff up on anyone's account. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's Hot Toys or what. You know, I mean, Hot Toys are the one that make these things. They look fabulous, but the leather itself just disintegrates, just completely disintegrates and disappears. And it makes the figure can look a lot worse than what it actually is. You know, it's a great looking figure. But because of that, it, it detracts from how good it could have been you know it could have been so much better you're gonna to have to be careful about your posing of them because it's you know you're not going to be able to move things around into certain positions because of it yeah so that's is a crying shame 
you know, but it, it looks super cool. So we're going to get a close up of some of these things for you to show you better um, and see where we go from there. As you can see there, the piece that's come away from this bit. And obviously, like I said here before, the knee bit come away completely. Yeah, those ones aren't too bad, they're still okay for the time being. The one on his wrist one seems to be okay for the time being, but the ones on his chest, you can see where they've come away already. You could probably put a bit of glue on them and glue them into place. Yeah, and it'll, it'll hold out for a bit longer. The one at the top here on his neck, you can see where that's come away from. You can see where it's meant to attach to and where it's come away from. Again, just a bit of glue. Yeah, and it's come away from the back, which I'll turn it around now and show you. So the back end of it is hidden by the dreads there, yeah, but you can see there where it is and where it's come away from. I literally just like to fasten these shoulder piece back on again where I've done it. You can see down the bottom here where it's starting to come away from the bottom piece, which is always a crunch in, but you can see the back. End of it, that is still in good nick, so that's that's a good thing. Yeah, and if you run the back, yeah, you can see obviously where the joints are on the knees as well, where you're going to get the bend from. You haven't got much bend in the ankles at all because it's one fixed piece, which is good for stability of holding it up, but not good for the fact of posability. You know, I mean, the dreads itself look amazing, they look superb. Yeah. That looks absolutely amazing. And then we'll show you his face. You can see there just how menacing this guy looks. You are supposed to have a red LED light that emits from up here. But obviously as per usual the batteries have either run out or they're just non-existent. The face mask on this one doesn't come off, which is always a shame when you've got one that doesn't come off. So you can't see the beauty of that ugliness of the faces from it because I, I just love parrotas. I think they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, so it's a shame that the face mask doesn't come off. But that's the way it goes. This one doesn't. I just think he looks really good. We'll get there. There's this one you can see here we talked about before. The hole where his falcon goes on. That's where it attaches to. And I'll put that on in a second and show you. How he looks, even posed up a little bit. But there you go, guys. It's just like I say, it's just a crying shame like that piece there. I've had to sort of blue tack it into place just to get it to stay on. And the same with this shoulder piece up here. It's so easily kind of come off. It'll probably come off when I try and show you any sort of articulation in a moment. But there we go, guys. Let's have a look at some of the thing. You see how much articulation he does actually have. Yeah, the knee, knee and a half decent bend there, it's not bad, I don't know how you're ever going to have him in that position because there is, as you can see, no ankle, I think there's a slight bit of pivot but not much at all, you've got no backwards and forward motion on that at all, so yeah, I don't know how you're going to ever have him sort of bent, legged. His leg comes forward a nice amount. Let's just pan that out just a little bit so you can see. Maybe it's a little bit clearer. There you go. So it comes out. See, I've just busted another one off there. That's how easy they are, guys. This is this one I'm talking about. You know, you've got to be so careful with them because I've just popped another one off there just by trying to show you how far forward I can get there. The legs can see, look at how that one's just blue tack to try and hold it in bloody place. Yeah. Just so that when I get them set, then you're not going to get any sort of backward motion because of just in here, which you can't see too well, but the backside part of it is literally touching his leg already. So that's it for sort of the leg articulation. Let's like see it. You can bend the knees just a slight bit to get him to stand up, but he will stand up on his own, so that's good. Elbow wise, 
you're going to get that. You've got the wrist twist. You will have a slight bit of pivot on it because it's a normal style things for hot toys. But obviously the twist is a full twist. There is no bicep twist in it. Coming out, you're going to be restricted for any sort of motion of coming out because of the shoulder piece up here, which this bit is actually die cast. So that is pretty damn good, you know, have the actual top bit up there die cast on them. I think that's pretty good that they have that die cast, but you're not going to get much motion for it. Again, same going forward, you know, you're not going to get much motion for the fact that it's going to catch. Oh, there's a shoulder piece come off. You can see there how far forward you're going to get it. Going back, yeah, it's okay. Just always got to be concerned with all these bits because you're going to worry. I mean, that's there is going to end up just coming off. You can see it, look at how loose it is. It's just going to end up coming off because there's nothing now holding it too far in place. You know, the, now one of the bottom ones has come off it on it as well on the leather. So that is really disappointing for us. It really is. That's such a crying shame that it has to be the actual thing itself has to be spoilt by that. Yeah, head wise. Let's pan up a bit more so we can see the head better. And let's hope nothing freaking falls off on the head when I'm doing this for you guys. Yeah, because I'm just. Oh, it is just a crying freaking shame. Neck wise, it was down quite a way. It was up quite a way. Side to side. And again, it's just this bit that you've got a sort of thingy with because it moves around too much. You know, you've got your left and your right so you can actually have them sort of you know, looking up, looking down, looking up that way. Again, you have to be careful because obviously sitting on this shoulder, if you're doing a thingy, he's going to be, he's falcon, which I'm going to get out now and show you that. But, oh man, what a shame that those leather bits have to be pretty knackered. That is just such a shame. And here we go, guys. There's the Falcon attached to him. Got his open hands on him. Looking down. Or looking sort of straight ahead, quite menacingly. Do this thing. He looks well cool. I just wish that the leather was all attached properly and I didn't have to spend time on it trying to work that out. Yeah. I know it's just it's going to take just drops of glue on there just to attach them to some of the things, but it's still awkward, especially with my big, huge fingers. It really is awkward for me to do. But there you go, guys, there's the Faulkner. I wonder if anyone else has had the same issues with this Faulkner Predator with it falling apart bits coming away from it and stuff like that, you know, I just want to take a bit of thought, I mean, to me, why didn't they just have these magnetised, you know what I mean, and they could have went just straight on, you know what I mean, and yes, you could have attached the leather thing, or you could have attached something that even had a leather look without it being leather, to make it look like it was being held in place by them, and I think it would have done so much better of a job, you know what I mean, but, hey, yeah, I suppose you live and learn. I don't know what, what, when the Faulkner one was actually made, you know, and how long ago it was made. But it's the only thing that really ruins it because I think it's a pretty damn good one. I don't know how many predators are out there. Um, I've got sort of nine in my collection now. I mean, one of them's a one quarter scale Necker figure. Um, so I've only got eight of the actual Hot Toys ones. And I don't know how many this out. I know I haven't got the Berserker one, but I'm not a big, huge fan of that Berserker look. I mean, if I can get them cheap, if I can get them real cheap, then I will pick them up, you know, because it'll go with the collection. Um, and I don't know how many other ones that are out there. I'm going to have to have a look. Um, and I think there's one other one that I could do with picking up. But there you go, guys. That's him. And that's my... 
lengthy look at him. Hope he's like, guys. Hope he's enjoyed this one. Yeah, please comment. If you want to comment. And this is the bearded nerdy wolf, and I am out of here. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>